Yeah, it's arbitrary when you hear this noise of the owls then the age of the car like it's a 2001 model so there's obviously no reason to put my nose into see that's what the problem has been with the ketchup like i just came in here and <laughs> hello sorry for a really late start to the vlog the time is 3 56 p.m on what has been a really nice friday afternoon it's a full sunshine and it's perfect so I have also been enjoying my day off, the push-ups, as I am now to come to the hardest part of my workout for this month before I move on to the next one. And I'm sure you all know that, except for January, of course, every first day of the month is considered a day off my push-ups, which is going to be the coming Wednesday, the next one. I started all on January 1st. That was the opening day of my push-ups and I started it with three rounds and I did 30 a day and I went from there but as the month goes then every first day will be a day off and so it was an incredible round the last time I went there which I had wore the LeBron James jersey t-shirt I put a post on Instagram just a short one where we were at crypto arena and when they were warming up before the game i didn't film when they were playing but the post i have uploaded was like the final warm-ups and just a pre-game show and some of that entertainment that they do i only got one comment so far and that is saying go lakers and i said yeah well the thing is that was already when it came to the third quarter in the match like it came to the halftime break and we were waiting. We were getting snacks and drinks and we were heading back to inside the arena. And I got a post saying, go Lakers, clapping and all of that. Just the applause emoji. And so that was how it was. So 87 people have watched it so far. A reel that I have posted three days ago, which I would like to talk to you a bit about it because it has been a really long gap in time since I had last posted a reel on Instagram, then over a long period of days, I've been thinking, hey, when should I post a reel on Instagram? Should I post it when I'm heading to the convention center just to check out some cars? Or if I'm going to a museum just to look at some history or what even is it? Well, then the day came that we had looked at the games that are to play at the crypto.com arena because yeah, I had been out of touch with Instagram for a very long time. I don't even know why. Yesterday, after I have published my video, I have seen a video on YouTube, just a short though. I'm not gonna give the channel name, but it's some kind of thing that they talk about. Hmm. Well, some kind of thing that they do daily vlogs where he talks about like why daily vlogs is just messed up and all that like something that many people have been doing for more than 10 years if any one of them does it for 10 years i mean i've been doing it for seven years though but like out of those that have been doing it for at least 10 years like some reasons why daily vlogging is just nothing but a piece of content on youtube right some just say it's a piece of content on YouTube, but some just say it's a project. Some just say that it's trying to get the number to grow, speaking about the number of days, trying to get to a certain milestone. I mean, he's done it too, but obviously some say that's just the fact that when you put content of yourself, like even vloggers or people who used to do vlogs or just some tweeters on Twitter and people making Facebook posts about those kind of YouTubers just making projects like nobody sees this as a fact on Instagram though like on Instagram whatever you post on Instagram it's just not about yourself or it's just not about your content it's pretty much about anything like sometimes it can have anything to do with your profession it can have anything to do with your hobby it can have anything to do with your day, which sounds more like it's just a part of your hobby on Instagram, but it's just not the same on YouTube. And I 
truly found it bizarre like the guy was saying oh well all this stuff needs to stop youtube's been pretty much dead with all of this but no that's just another piece of entertainment like nobody comes up with that fact on instagram just like the reel i posted three days ago before the game had started but yeah crypto arena well i do recommend you to go there and see what the games are like it's highly recommended i haven't looked at the ratings of it at the arena but when you get inside the arena obviously we took the high places you know on one side of the lower places obviously there's a part that you can look from the outside and there's this place that you know from the monitor you can look at the games but again those are the lower seats like closer to where the other team fans get to sit which is on one left and on the one right of the stadium so yeah that was a pleasant one obviously now it's been three days past that so what have i done today obviously while we were heading from lunch it was kind of weird obviously there was a demolition of a building of what used to be a retail store which had been out of business after like end of november and then it emptied out and then now it has been demolished into pieces it's been filled with stones it's been demolished and then we took a trip to dana point and my goodness it was absolutely silent unlike what's go oh yeah by the way just can see the shape of that recently me and my dad have saw one of these cars which apparently turned out to be a 1932 model but the real thing is though that we actually had planned to do a diy car wash watch we are actually which we'll actually do next week and some kind of funny story which i never thought would be real at the beginning of the day it came in a pack and yeah obviously last week i had wore another t-shirt of this which i was on my bike and i ripped the hole around this part a uh, t-shirt so it came in a new one and exactly the same type well yeah it, there is another one of these apparently it does come in black as well but yeah it's the same t-shirt well not the same t-shirt actually but the same design just a different t-shirt like the other one is set to go to the tailor once we head to turkey once we find the tailor at the middle of february and we'll get that fixed for now we'll keep the one that we nearly bought here holy hell already when it's yet not pitch black there's already owls hiding under the back of the trees there's literally owls I'm not even scared to say this, but interestingly, it does smell like potatoes here outside. Hey, that's not me just being normal. Obviously, it feels like I just came from the middle of nowhere, like I just came out of the bush, hungry like a grizzly bear. But can't lie, obviously, from this point, I gotta be as objective as I can. Owls are everywhere. Yeah, it's arbitrary when you hear this noise of the owls then obviously it's that kind of atmosphere that makes you think where am i when you're in the middle of a park like when you're in the middle of a camping when you have nowhere to go well it's friday evening but despite that we're taking this porsche cayenne well for a big reason so when we were trying to turn the temperature gauge down in the mercedes I turned it down to 71 and it didn't cool down. In fact, it got a little bit more warm. So obviously that was just a big glitch. So yeah, currently it's at the repair store. I don't know what's going on with that car. You know, I mean, it's kind of ideal. Like it's Friday evening. It's almost a weekend anyway. So that's kind of reasonable whatsoever. But I don't know what's going on with that car. I'm not going to blame the age of the car like it's a 2001 model so there's obviously no reason to put my nose into right that but in the last 10 months this has become the fifth time that we sent it to the repair store five times have we sent it to the repair store in the last 10 months crazy experience here 
so far. Absolutely. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I'll be safe there. It's been a shortage. Okay, catch up. Yeah, it's kind of weird to tell. That's how it came up like. It just came so thin. Obviously, that's what the problem has been with the ketchup. Like, I just came in here and <laughs> look at that. It feels like I'm just looking at the worm. Well, more like a worm head over here. A worm head rather than just a pile of ketchup. All right, so obviously now the workers are doing the best to install the new bits of ketchup in the machine. Obviously, this one had some kind of problems functioning well as it should so they're putting more ketchup into the machine yeah it's a bit weird how i put it like that right it's like i just took a worm out of a fishing bucket but that worm was hibernating that fishing bucket which he did not know where he ended up just like me in the middle of the forest when i run away from a park anyway guys that's gonna be it for today's vlog it's been an amazing day. It's been an amazing week. To be honest, I will see you guys over the weekend. Also, more importantly, in tomorrow's vlog. See you.